Hey everybody, welcome back behind the bar. I've actually recorded a video for a while, but we're, hey, it's Chad again. Hello. Um, we actually have an audience as well. But uh, Hello, Curtis. We guest, did, we guest just, blogger over here. Yeah, guest there you blogger. Go. There you go. Um, we were in the middle of opening a bottle of beer, and I said, hey, let's fucking review this, even though we've been drinking. So these can be the best, though. Um, Chad's already poured his out. I'm no, I haven't. I want me. more. You maybe stop in the middle of it. Look this how small true. that pour is. So we're doing... Hold on. One moment. I know it's your bottle. Uh, so this is actually an interesting beer to review because the brewer no longer works at this brewery. True. He just left. Uh, Sean left, but this is... Chaos 2017 from Ram. Uh, I just re <laughs> make the noise. <laughs> um, so at Ram, um, how is this different from Side Note? Do we know? Is this just this was a Ram no? This release? is so their Chaos version. They do once a year. It's an anniversary uh, beer. Okay. And they always choose one uh, of their beers to be able to you know feature as an anniversary. Okay. Now, obviously, Side Note has become a little bit bigger yeah. this year, and Gimme Samoa. Which is what this is mm -hmm. became a you know a uh, a favorite of a lot of people, yeah. and so they took it and they barrel aged it, and for I don't know how long, and uh, cocoa that's this cocoa nibs, toasted coconut, and Saigon cinnamon. So chaos twenty seventeen from Ram Restaurant mm -hmm. Brewery. Um, well, I mean, let's explain. It. I mean, uh, give me Samoa. We just had you know a little discussion about this. It's basically the coconut. What Girl Scout cookies? Yeah, essentially. So caramel delights, Samoas, whatever you want to call whatever it. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So that's what he was going for. Sean has moved on to another brewery that he is actually going to be the head brewer Sean of. Sean Burns. Um, and I've heard, in, I've heard the reasons why. We don't need to get into it, but uh, I'm really excited for what he's going to do. But these beers have been amazing. Um, let's dive in. Pour it out. Motor oil. Let's dive in and see. What I wish you guys like. could see this. It's like the head looks amazing. Yeah, right? it's like mocha khaki cinnamon. Are you smelling this? I smell my shit, dude. It's big like candy. Big stuff. cinnamon. Cinnamon and coconut. Mm. What do you think? Curtis is off camera, but... Yeah, Curtis is a... Give this man a Coors Light and he's damn happy. I'm so. a beer snob. If you yeah, a Coors Light beer snob. He's drinking Boulevard and Kolsch. And we poured him some of this. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, though. I do like stouts. And you're drinking it out of a uh, Degard whale, whale cow glass. But this is big cinnamon. Big coconut cinnamon. Damn, yeah. that smells awesome. It really the nose does. is sweet, um, but big, big some big vanilla. And Plus, Chicago is always it's tough to it's tough to. This is Schomburg, right? Yeah, yeah, Schomburg. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, let's do it. Dive in. Cheers, guys. That doesn't suck. So if you like cinnamon, I mean that's like I don't. I, so here's if you're going for a caramel delight cookie, I don't know if I get that. Because this has a lot more cinnamon than that does. Yeah, but there's something else that's balancing out that cinnamon. It doesn't it, taste like it doesn't taste like a Mexican stout. It's really weird. So, well, there's no pepper in it. Um, but, but the cinnamon normally kind of puts you there. Yeah. So it's cinnamon for me for a long time, but the finish is like coconut on my tongue, though. Well, I'll try to get coconut and vanilla. It finishes like coconut for me. Mouth feels really good. Okay. Pretty minim medium. It's not thick. It's not chewy, but it's really good. What are you trying to do? I don't know. Something. <laughs> Just like set it up on like the. Yeah. Lean it. You still can't see it. Lean it and get the top of it. Yeah. It's like the damn phone. <laughs> this is a phone. Yeah. yeah. Recording on an iPhone Seven Plus. So, um, big cinnamon. It's vanilla. It's really sweet. It um, is very sweet. Chocolatey. There's very definitely chocolatey. some chocolate in the back. I feel like the chocolate is the background note. Toasted coconut and Saigon cinnamon. Yeah, that Saigon cinnamon is just dominant. It's big. It's really, if you like cinnamon in your barrel aged stouts, I don't get a lot of the the barrel. It's not huge barrel. No, it's, but, but it's smooth. But it's in really terms smooth. of like, you know, mouthfeel on this thing, it is like, it's up there. It's, it's good. It's not thin, but it, I wouldn't say it's thick. As a beer we recently discussed, we're going to drink together in the future. Well, this CBS, is we, we had CBS earlier, and I would say it's probably thicker than that. Or up there. I don't the CBS was more like the oilish version. Yeah, it was kind of oily. It was more like a derivation mouthfeel, which is a little oilier. Mm -hmm. um, this is a little maltier, as mm -hmm. far as the mouthfeel goes. Um, it's super amazing beer, though. I don't know why I could chuck the shit out of this. Yeah, it's super easy drinking. 
What is this? What were we talking about? Yeah. 10%. 12.4%? The drink's like 8. There's no alcohol taste mm -hmm. out of this thing at all. There's just a lot of flavors coming. Yeah, just dessert. Super, super smooth, dessert, cinnamon. It finishes with coconut for me. I uh, The chocolate is kind of like the underlying note throughout the whole mm -hmm. thing. Um, the mouth, I mean, the smell is not... It's not bad. It's not... Definitely does not do the taste justice, though. No, it's very flavorful. Mm. Interesting. Go sporting. Go right? sporting. Go sporting. We have right a few here. hours. A few hours away. The weird thing about doing it on the uh, front-facing camera on the iPhone, which is a nice camera, mm -hmm. is that everything's backwards, which when I record at home, it doesn't do that. Because it's chaos. Ooh. Not, um, not so... So walk. So walk. So walk. <laughs> so walk. We haven't been drinking, I promise. <laughs> um, no, amazing beer. Uh, what is this trade for? Roughly. 200 bucks. 200 two, bucks. 225, somewhere around there. I um, wouldn't be surprised if this I'd goes significantly. I'd rather up. have this than vanilla rye, which trades for more um, that we've. Hands yeah, down. it's not even close. Hands um, down. I'd probably rather have this than. Yeah, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to be like that. Yeah, it's. it's, it's this is a really good beer. Yeah, if you can get a hold of this, I would definitely do it. As far as a grade for me. Um, I stopped doing number grades. This is A plus. It's not quite 100 for me. Um, it's really good. It's missing some like it needs to be a little fuller for me to give it 100. But it's it's definitely A plus. This is a killer, killer, killer beer. It's oh, on yeah. the upper, upper 97, end. 98 wholeheartedly. Yeah, easy. And for me, every single one of the the reviews we've done, I've always apparently gone way low in comparison to everything else. Except when you've done some world class beers. I mean, we've done FVM. We've done. Mm -hmm. Pangy, those were hundreds. I those mean, we hundreds. did Scoop was a hundred. Scoop was I, 100. Scoop's better than Man Bear Pig was like a ninety six. I think I gave it though. I think it was even less than that. I gave it like a ninety three. Okay. Um, this is amazing. If you get have a chance to get a hold of this bottle and you can do it for about two hundred, I definitely recommend it. I plan on getting more. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, thanks for sharing this, buddy. Absolutely. I'm glad I was able to sucker him into doing this review. <laughs> That's what happens when you get someone drunk. I didn't want to. He takes advantage of me. People like Chad. I get a lot of comments. Where's Chad? You get, no. you see the comments? I don't see the comments. But thank you for the comments. Yeah. I appreciate it. People like Chad. So he might be in another review in the near future. Yes. So he's pretty excited about it. Yes. So anyways, we're going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for coming behind the bar. Thank you for the likes, subscribes, and comments. Live from Chad's basement. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.